Great to talk to you. Uh, great film. Really, really enjoy it. And of course, one of the main ideas is that we see Kung Fu fighters not in their prime, and that makes your characters the underdogs of the story. So in that sense, uh, what was the interesting thing about this whole notion that, you know, attracted to you? Um, I think for me personally, it was like you're saying, this is a true underdog story. And, and, and because we're past our prime and, and for me personally, you know, I am, you know, of that age. So uh, a lot you of stuff. past your prime, bro. <laughs> Thanks, man. No, but you know, just just going through because Bauer, Bauer director, is also a martial artist, so he knows. Though. So when he wrote all this stuff, and I just loved it. So when I got the script, it was, you know, I could stop turning the pages. There was so much heart. There was so much humor, and I just love the dynamics of the three tigers, you know, and and their relationships and what they have to go through. So that's what drew me to the script. I think also one of the the, the things that I took from from the film is how. You know, all of your characters have something from the past that it, it still bothers them, and it's kind of like coming to to terms with with a lot of uh, stuff. And that absolutely, I think I think that that actually drew all of us to it. Um, the 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 opportunity to have an experience that's deep, real, and propels you as an individual into your next experience. Like what I love about all of our characters is you saw us learning, like learning learning about us and learning how to be with each other all over again. So as it moves on, you feel it growing, like you feel the love finding its way. And we didn't force that, we let it happen. So by the time we're in these fight scenes, we are one, like you, we haven't accepted it but the audience can feel it, you know what I mean? So I knew that emotionally it drew us all. We were all drawn emotionally to the piece because the emotion was outliving the visual. Like we were gonna catch up with it at some point, but we were behind it. You know, our hearts were in the right place, but we were still, you know, still living the life. So like, I thought it was a huge draw for all of us to the piece. So, yeah. I mean, it's really, really funny. I, I honestly, I laugh out loud more than once during the film. And so in that sense, how was for you that approach? Um, not just approach, but the challenge to mix tones and especially those really, really funny scenes. Well, I think Bao really allowed us to, um, you know, take different alternate takes for everything. Uh, where. You know, you, you have something that's written and then he allowed us to sort of experiment and ad lib um, some of the some of the, uh, the the lines and, and how to um, interpret some of the scenes. And I think it's really a testament to Bao because that's a fine line to 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 to, to walk on, which is can it be too funny? Can it be too slapsticky or can it still maintain the heart? And Again, it, 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 you know, it was a lot of fun to shoot those scenes, but um, but again, it, it's it's a uh, it, it's Bao's hand there. It's a very steady hand in, in his approach to filmmaking and storytelling. And I'm I'm gonna just add on to that. I think that Bao did an exceptional job of the casting because I don't even think these guys could do slapstick because they ground their work in the truth so deeply, like so there was no way it was going to be corny. Like there was no way the jerks weren't going to work because they weren't trying to be laughed at. They were creating situations that are just funny. You know what I mean? And I love that. I just, as a as an African-American man, I'm very sensitive, being laughed at, to, to be doing something just because it's funny, because we've been um, called you know, it's just been a history of sometimes not the most, um, not the deepest sentiments in the world when it comes to African American men. So like watching this bow take a chance on just letting the story be truthfully funny and trusting that and then casting the people who could live through it, honestly, I mean, was a huge, for me, breath of fresh air because you're laughing with these, like you're laughing the movie makes you laugh, but you're not laughing at someone. You know what I mean? You're laughing at that situation with these two guys that 
or these two guys. It, it makes you anticipate the next two guys, which then also makes it funny. You know what I mean? So it's a. Uh, I'm just ecstatic about the fact that it was done with integrity. There's kind of like a long tradition of mixing kung fu films with comedy. I mean, some Bruce Lee films have really, really funny scenes. Of course, then Jackie Chan, uh, Simon Hong, and more recently, uh, Stephen Chow. So in that sense, uh, in general, did you have uh, some sort of in inspiration from, from those uh, old films? And, and or, or do you like them in, in general? For me, uh, I, I love those films. Um, and yes, I was inspired, uh, but I think knowing when I read the script and also knowing the director's intent, Bao was always thinking like he wants to make a martial arts version of Shaun of the Dead, which was like British pub humor. So I love, you know, that take on it. So yeah, and by Asian American standards, there hasn't been a film like this that has the heart and has the humor. And I think that's what drew all of us to the script. And then, I mean, we already talked about that comedy side, but the film is, you know, you have three genuine fights. Uh, so I wanted to ask you about, in general, what were the challenges? How was the approach to those fights? Uh, because again, I also enjoy it in, in that sense, not only because at times, it, it, those fights, of course, end up being being funny, being a, a joke. But you know, then it gets more serious. Yeah, I think for me, the challenges were really um, more more or less logistic in many ways because it, you know we we shot a lot a lot of the the fight sequences at the end of filming, and you know, getting a lot of the the scenes done beforehand re obviously grounds the fight for us or the, the story behind the fight but really the biggest challenge occurred really at the end where we're fighting you know we're shooting on the roof and it's just you're with the elements at that point and it being being that it's an independent film you don't get to have extra days like if it rains guess what you have to figure it out and i think the challenge is, is really staying true to the choreography and staying true to the story but in many ways, you know, one of the days, for example, we got we were rained on and we couldn't film for like five hours. And so now we're kind of behind in schedule and trying to figure out how we could still tell the story and not shortchange the audience because this is an anticipated fight or fight sequence. So so in that sense, I think, um, you know, you know, a, a lot of the challenges came from outside variables as opposed to things that came from within. And I think that's a testament to the preparation, the professionalism, the, the commitment that the fight choreographer, the action director, uh, you know, Kenny uh, and, and Sam and Carrie uh, took, took part in. And, and you know, that, that's, a, that's a big, that's an important thing, right? The fact that the, the, the biggest challenge is, is outside of, of the team. It's very clear in, in your film, those less live lessons that we can all take from Kung Fu, uh, from Kung, Kung Fu notions. Uh, what do you think are the most important ones? Like it's, it's to, to, to truly to help those that can't help themselves in certain situations. I mean, that's part of it, you know, but Elaine, Mikel, like, you know, you know, it's also to figure out, you know, to love, to, to build your life on, on real, real principles that aren't monetary, on love and on honor, on having integrity and a code and living by it and trusting that that is, that it's, it's, it's who you are in the end that makes you rich, not what you got in the end that makes you rich. Well guys, uh, thank you so much for your time and good luck uh, with the release of the film. It's really thank you. Thank, you. thank you so much, Aaron. Thank, thank you. you. You're gonna run out to the theaters, right? Yeah, sure. And and like the previous interview, I, I hear about the sequel. I'm also looking forward to <laughs> <laughs> another one. Another one.